Hassan Chamisa has no case after he challenged last week's election results in court. ZANU-PF Legal Secretary Paul Mangwanya says they have sufficient legal minds to meet the MDC squarely in court. For all I know is that uh, we have not yet been saved with those papers. Uh, yes, I have checked with the registrar of uh, the court and uh, they have confirmed that they received papers from the MDC. But uh, in terms of our laws, they must save all the respondents. And um, my president had not been saved as the, the time I was speaking to you. Uh, so yes, that is the position. The intention was to have the inauguration on Sunday. What's going to happen now? Well, in terms of the constitution, once an application challenging the result of the election is filed with the court, um, everything stops until the constitutional court has dealt with the matter and completed it. In terms of the court processes, what's going to happen now? If we are saved with the papers, we will then respond and then um, the constitutional court will then hear arguments within the next 10 days. MDC is confident that they are going to win the case. Um, we are quite confident that they have no basis for, 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 for challenging the, the result of the election. Um, I'm sure they are just being academic. They are also bringing in uh, legal minds from South Africa. Uh, I'm sure they can even try to bring legal minds, legal minds from Mars. They will still not win the case. We don't care where they import legal minds. Uh, the case is simple and full stop. President Mnangagwa was duly elected and he won the election fairly and squarely. So we don't mind where they are going to import lawyers. Uh, Zimbabwe, we as ZANPF, we have sufficient legal minds to deal with them. Uh, on any point of law they can raise or points of fact they raise. President Mnangagwa earlier on indicated that he is willing to engage the opposition. He has always been willing to engage them, but not necessarily to share power, but to engage them if there is anything we require to talk about. And um, he, he, his door has always been open. The decision by the Americans to impose sanctions, have you looked at that as ZANU-PF? Oh yeah, of course. S sanctions have always been unfairly imposed on our country since 2001. We thought that the Americans were going to, 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 I mean, to, to, to cancel the, the sanctions. But uh, unfortunately they've decided to unfairly and wrongfully uh, impose the sanctions. We think this is a, a political way of interfering in our domestic policies. Uh, they should allow us to move on with our country um, and uh, deal with our challenges. We want to, to normalize the relations with the Americans. We have never had a dispute with the Americans. We have had a dispute with the British. We are talking to the British and uh, the British have been engaging us. We don't see the reason why the Americans should take the lead. They have never colonized us. They have never had a land problem with us. They should not buy this story. They are just hiding under the figure that, uh, they are, that they are no, there is no democracy in our country. But they are acknowledging that we had free and fair elections. So we don't see the reason why we should be under sanctions. The security establishment in terms of army and the police, are they uh, perhaps in sync with what President Mnangagwa is up to currently to do things differently? Yes, certainly. The, uh, President Mnangagwa is doing things differently. He's engaging everybody who wants this country to move on. The, the security establishment has a responsibility to maintain law and order in this country, to defend the sovereignty of this country. And they are doing just exactly that. The relations between the president and the vice president, some are saying that uh, the relations are frosty. You. That is a figment of people's imagination. The relationship between my two leaders is perfect. They are very good friends and they are working together and they are running this country to the best of their abilities. People would want to see a difference which does not exist. Those two gentlemen are very, very good friends in office and out of the office. Are you really confident that the two will work together? I'm talking about President Mnangagwa and uh, Vice President Chiwenga. They've always worked together and they work together for the good of our country.